Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to create a trusted uh, self-hosted uh, HTTPS certificate. This uh, sounds uh, a little bit complicated, but uh, it's very important for our self-hosted uh, web applications because uh, some web applications like uh, Home Assistant uh, needs a valid HTTPS certificate to work uh, properly. And uh, we have uh, at least two techniques to do this. Uh, we can use uh, Let's Encrypt, which is a public uh, uh, certification authority but uh, you need uh, an, um, a website on uh, internet to use it while if you use a certificate in a LAN in a local area network you can also use a, a local authority uh, so you don't depend on internet for your internal web services Okay, uh, so we will use MKCert, which is uh, a uh, utility which makes uh, more convenient to create this uh, certificate. And uh, the use case for uh, this tool is uh, to generate uh, an HTTPS certificate for development or for websites uh, which lives uh, in uh, your internal network. Uh, I won't uh, install this because uh, I already have uh, this tool but uh, if you go to uh, releases you can download uh, the uh, latest binary from here from, uh, for your application. Okay, so uh, step number one is to download this uh, utility i already have this uh, utility here uh, so i create a new folder i call it uh, certs and i go inside certs and i copy the tool that i mentioned before which i already downloaded it and it's this one mk cert here okay so copy here so with this uh, i control the version and i'm using the version 1.4.3 Okay, so uh, the first command to, is to generate the uh, certificates. There are many ways to use this tool, but uh, I will use the uh, most uh, simple one. So with uh, mkcert, I give the key file, key file name, and uh, usually there are several uh, standards to call these files but uh, i will call it uh, key key.pem and the other one is cert file.pem so cert.pem and then you can specify the name uh, of the websites uh, which is valid uh, this uh, certificate so i will use uh, uh, test.lan which is uh, the uh, website that uh, i want uh, a, certi a certificate for and uh, i also make uh, it valid for asterisk test.lan so I can also use the uh, subdom subdomains and um, yeah, uh, you can also specify um, an IP address if you want, but the, it isn't uh, my situation. Okay, so I press enter. And now, as you can see, we have uh, the uh, certificate which is valid for test.lan which uh, .lan it's just uh, uh, my convention for internal uh, domains and also asterisk test.lan 
and if we uh, do ls we see we have the two uh, certificates and the other command that i need to run is this mkcert install and uh, this uh, will install the uh, certificate, uh, certification authority for this uh, computer. So I need to specify dot slash. And uh, here we, um, we don't have sudo. So we need to run it again with super user to install it. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we have uh, local CA is now is now installed. So now it's fine. And uh, I don't know why it doesn't find the Firefox or Chromium because I have uh, uh, Chromium in uh, this installation, but okay, we we don't care for now. Okay, uh, I go again with the normal user and uh, now we have to uh, generate a, a server.pem. Uh, this isn't uh, mandatory because um, it depends uh, where you will use the two uh, .pem files. But uh, this uh, server.pem, uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, a concatenation of the key file and the cert. So uh, probably you don't need this step. It depends where you will use this to certificate. But uh, with my uh, test uh, web server, I need to, uh, to do this uh, um, uh, file. So with cat key.pem and this is just a concatenation so nothing weird okay and it will go to server.pem okay le let's check it so Okay, we don't have less here, so just cut. It's just this, so we have the uh, private key, then we have the certificate, and that's it. This is our concatenation of files. Okay, and uh, now we uh, need to um, activate the uh, test.lan, you can use a um, DN local DNS like uh, PyHole or uh, Adigard, but uh, for this uh, test, I will just use uh, um, the uh, ATC hosts. So it's uh, the local DNS for poor people. Okay. So this change uh, will work just for the local computer. If you need uh, to ping uh, this uh, address, uh, like uh, uh, test.lan or something.lan, you need to uh, add this to your DNS or inside uh, uh, hosts. And uh, yeah, for this example, it will just work in this computer. But if you have a local DNS in your LAN, you can add uh, this uh, name to the IP of the computer, which you want to redirect the traffic. So I save and you also need to do this as a super user and uh, then uh, we need to start uh, the uh, web server and uh, I already install liked uh, httpd, httpd and uh, as you can see we need a configuration and uh, yeah this is just for this kind of test 
so I copy my configuration of this so here downloads and I add this file okay this is a very simple um, configuration so uh, we need to specify a, a document root this is uh, mandatory for this web server we enable the uh, OpenSSL and then uh, we uh, activate uh, the web server in, uh, on the port 8443 and uh, normal HTTPS is with uh, uh, without the 8 so it's just like this but uh, we use uh, this uh, simple configuration and then we need to specify where is our uh, server.pem file the file which we generated before and yeah that's it so I exit and I will start the web server uh, capital D is uh, to have uh, this uh, web server in a foreground uh, and then we specify the uh, file of the configuration okay so the, configura uh, the configuration um, has started and now let's try to load uh, this website so https test.lan and uh, as you can see we uh, have a connection not secure but we have uh, um, the certificate running so let's try to close and uh, open again uh, Firefox so https test.lan port ok so uh, you need to close and open again Firefox to uh, see connection secure and uh, another way to debug if you have uh, some problems is to use uh, Vuget that uh, sometimes uh, it gives uh, more information and uh, these are the um, information about this certificate so test.lan and uh, asterisk test.lan so le let's do some other tests where we try to uh, remove the um, the not official port this one and if you try this it, it doesn't work so let's try to restart again the server with the normal SSL port yes and restart okay so we have a clean https website without specifying the custom port and you can also try with vuget https test.lan and okay we we get uh, this uh, error because uh, we didn't configure much uh, like uh, ttpd but uh, it works we don't have uh, um, errors uh, in the uh, certificate let's try with uh, um, another website so vuget https something dot lan and uh, as you can see now we have uh, an error which is uh, uh, explicit which the name doesn't uh, match with something dot lan 
and we can also try this uh, in the browser so we get uh, the uh, normal warning uh, for this situation which is a but cert uh, domain but uh, we can also try the subdomains so if we do uh, again okay if we go to uh, again to etc hosts we can try to match uh, to uh, something dot test dot lan yes and uh, let's try this and uh, okay it works so uh, we we didn't make uh, a certificate uh, specific for this uh, subdomain but uh, we are using uh, the uh, part uh, this part so asterisk test.lan that's it you can use this technique for a lot of self-hosted web application and let me in the command in the comments if you found this video useful leave me a thumbs up and see you in another video bye